Signs also coming down today at Columbus Park. Our Sean Toll is in North Denver with that tonight. Sean. Yeah, they've been looking to change the name here at Columbus Park for quite some time, but recently the city made the move to take down the sign here at the park. I'm up here almost every day now that all the gyms and recs are closed for the summer. Diego Dominguez enjoys coming to Columbus Park to shoot hoops, but now something is missing. It feels a lot better to know that uh, Columbus's name is taken down because he's not, he shouldn't be celebrated. A spokesperson for the Parks and Rec Department tells Denver 7 that they took the park sign down a few days ago to, quote, prevent further vandalism in our parks. Dominguez says he's seen that vandalism firsthand. Um, I think it needed to be changed a long time ago. For, for a minute, there's been people that will go and they'll cross out uh, Columbus Park and they'll go write La Raza and uh, spray paint or whatever. But it's the recent push to change the name back to what the park is known as to neighbors here on Denver's north side. I know everybody calls it La Raza Park. It's about time the sign came down and they changed it to, I think La Raza is what they were petitioning for. City Councilwoman Amanda Sandoval is leading the charge to change the name to La Raza, filing an official letter with the city. My name's Amanda Sandoval and that's who I am. And so I cannot, um, have Columbus being represented in my community. Meanwhile, Dominguez says the missing sign is a welcome one. It gives you a little, little peace of mind, a little sense of mind. And Councilwoman Sandoval did say earlier today on Twitter that the Parks and Recreation Department told her that she would receive those petitions in the next 10 business days so she can start gathering signatures to change the name. Reporting live, Sean Toll, Denver 7. Sean, thank you.